Hi, I'm Paul Wagner with Anderson Egla. I'm here to talk to you today about our CPMT. Many of you have asked us through the years why the CPMT offers such a benefit. In addition to being able to get a pressure transmitter into a half inch, quarter inch, or in some cases even an eighth inch line, we also have the ability to reduce the rinse times on your pre-rinse for your CIP. If you read the ASME BPE dead leg study that was done a few years ago, it shows that a branch length over an L over, even equal to an L over D of two requires higher pump pressures and flow rates in order to remove air pockets in a timely manner. Here you can see a stainless version of our CPMT, but what I'm here to show you today is actually a plastic version. So you can see here with the transmitter on my right hand side is a one of our CPMTs. You can see the O-ring comes in and seals directly at the face in line with the ID of the tubing. And on my left hand side is one of our pressure gauges here on what we would consider a bucket or a standard instrument tee. So this is a three quarter inch line blown up to an inch and a half with a tr standard tri-clamp gasket. So here what I'm gonna do is turn our pump on. We're gonna be flowing at about uh, five feet per second, which is what we would generally consider acceptable for a flow rate. And as our water starts to come on here, you're gonna see the bubbles as they come out. And if everything works as it should and according to plan, you'll see the air pocket removed from the CPMT here very quickly while we keep an air pocket that is running on the left-hand side and the diaphragm of the pressure sensor is actually not even going to get wet.